Hi everyone, welcome! We're doing another delicious spicy fish curry from India. It's called the Nellor Spicy Fish Curry and it originates in a small town called Nellor in the south of India that's known for its spicy food. The entire region grows a lot, grows a lot of chilies and it's known for extremely spicy delicacies. So we're using about 12 ounces of salmon fillet, beautiful salmon fillet that I've gone ahead and scaled. Now we'll be using the skin, which is typical of any Indian fish curry, so keep that on. Wash it and chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Now for our curry, I have one medium-sized red onion that I've diced small. I have the puree of maybe a couple of cups of puree here, to tomato puree that I've made homemade. Just cook down some tomatoes and run it in the blender. Now for our powders, I have the essential three powders that every almost every Indian curry uses. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon or more of hot chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, and about a half to one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Now we'll be dry grinding some of our ingredients here. I have some coriander seeds, about a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, a half a teaspoon of jeera or cumin, and about a quarter or eighth of a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, also called methi. Now this is extremely bitter, so you don't want to make a mistake with that quantity. Everything else can be increased or decreased. Um, right here on this side, I have some tamarind that I've been soaking. You can use tamarind paste, anything that is sour and slightly sweet would work. There are different varieties of tamarind. This is the Indian variety. Soak it in some warm water and you'll be squeezing the pulp out of it um, toward the, the latter end of making your curry. A fistful of curry leaves. It imparts a lot of flavor. I'm using, because this is a spicy fish curry, in addition to the chili powder, we're also using about four four Thai green chilies, which is a really hot chili. You can skip it, you can increase the spice level, decrease it as you like. And finally, a handful of coriander or cilantro leaves that we'll be chopping. So let's get started with a pan that's heating, or a pot that's heating on the stove with some oil. We always start with frying our curry leaves. You can use fresh curry leaves, I'm just using dried ones at this time. And once that is a little fried, give it about a few minutes because it's dry. You don't need to leave it in there too long, it could burn. We're going to start sauteing our onions till they are nice and golden brown. The onions have browned nicely and the curry leaves are crispy. You can probably hear that. So I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste and three of our powders, which is turmeric the spicy hot chili powder and the coriander powder. We're going to add a little water just to prevent the paste and the powders from burning. Give it a good mix. And continue frying for another two to three minutes on low flame. Dry grind, not the green chilies, I'm going to set that aside. We're going to grind the coriander seeds, the cumin ojira seeds, and the peppercorns. You want a nice fine powder? Run that again to get a finer, a finer powder. Yes, that's perfect. 
So we're going to set that aside now and we're going to add it to where the end as our fish curry gets done. Back to the pot now. Just continue stirring this till the oil starts separating from the mixture. Maybe another couple of minutes or more on low flame. So it's been a few minutes and all of the powders and the ginger garlic paste have cooked. I'm going to add the tomato puree. Give it a good stir. Okay, now we want to cook this down as well. And as we're doing that, we're going to add the green chilies. So remember, this is going to be an, a very spicy fish curry. So we want those chilies to cook down and render all its heat. So we're going to do this for about 3-4 minutes. And then we should be ready to add our fish. So the tomato and onion and all of that is cooking down. You can see the oil that's beginning to separate. And we have a thick paste here that is deeper in color. So now we're ready to add the tamarind liquid. So I've squeezed out the pulp here. And I'm going to add that. We're going to cook this down for another minute or two till the tamarind cooks. You don't want raw, a raw, tart tamarind flavor. Let's add some water now. Bring this to a nice bubble. So we'll cook it for another couple of minutes. So I'm now going to add the dry powder that we ground in our spice grinder. Let's give it a quick stir so it's well incorporated into your gravy or your sauce. And now is the time to add the fish that I've cleaned, scaled and cut into small pieces. You can use any fish for this. Adding a little bit of water. Give this fish a gentle stir. Make sure it submerges in under the curry. Garnish that with some chopped cilantro and let it cook for three, four minutes at most, and then we should be ready to serve. So it's been about two, three to four minutes, and I've just turned the stove off. The salmon is cooked. Just take a look at it. Nice and firm, pink fleshed fish. Now do not stir it, stir it vigorously or you'll have salmon shredding up. We're ready to plate some of this goodness into a bowl here. Very gentle. I'm going to lay this down. Now for some of that curry, spicy, tangy red curry. When you see oil floating to the top, you know it's a good Indian curry. That's a sign of a curry that's been made well, especially when you let the oil separate as you cook those spices and tomatoes down. This is definitely spicy. I can smell the chilies. And this goes really well with the Indian rice crepes called dosa. Final garnish of some chopped cilantro and your super spicy Nellore salmon fish curry is ready to try. Also called Nellore Chepalapulisa in the local language. Enjoy.